I want to ask Rick, what do you see as the biggest risks that we're running into in the fall here of 2020 for your note investing business? Hmm. I don't know if it would be risk, but it's just definitely something that's going to it's what's going to determine how I move forward. And that's obviously the election. The election right now, um, it's just a turbulent times as far as the markets go. Mm -hmm. I think the Dow has been up and down and side to side. Um, right. And there's a lot of speculation. I think somebody from the Fed, I just read today, they said if there's not another stimulus package, it's going to be a crisis. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so um, I, I don't know. I, for me, it's, it, has, it hinges a lot on what's going to happen with the, um, with the election. And it's not necessarily that it's doom or gloom. It's just what, how, do I, how do I pivot my business or how do I, I go with the flow, you know? Is it, you know, do we end up with somebody in the office who provides a bunch of economic um, certainty? Mm -hmm. and things kind of just keep on going real estate keeps tracking the way it is or or um, you know does somebody wind up in office who there's a little bit of a you know economic uncertainty mm -hmm. I don't know so I'm not saying who that person is one way or the other it's just I think a lot has to do with the election we'll see who it is um, and kind of adjust course when do you think being that we're now in Q4 uh, that people can start saying okay Elections over now, and kind of start. <laughs> well, it depends whenever the election's over, right? From the looks of it, the election might not be over till January. Oh God! So I, I mean, I don't know. It depends. Can I, I mean, wish for that for Christmas. Just please. That's a good in, Christmas in this, gift. Everyone, everyone listening, list. <laughs> wish it. Oh God, please no. January. No, I, I, who knows? Yeah. I mean, who really knows? You know, you don't know what's going to happen, um, mm -hmm. one way or the other. So you just kind of, just prepare. Prepare to be able to change and move how, your business. Can, but like, but if the market takes a huge downturn, yeah, how are you prepared? Um, it's just you're kind of switching where the opportunity is, right? So are you taking money out? You just kind of. Oh, you know. uh, if, if I mean, if the if the market takes a huge downturn, I'm looking at the opportunity for people who are, you know, if I'm in the seller finance world, there's people who are like looking for like, look, they had some economic disaster and they're like, I need a lump sum of cash. Maybe I'm buying some discounted performing loans that way. Um, if there's, you know, an influx of non-performing loans and the market starts ticking down and I can, you know, start picking those up at 40 cents on the dollar or 50 cents on the dollar, I'm doing that. You yeah. know, just, it's just kind of riding the market because right now, I mean, you're not seeing <laughs> non-performing stuff at 50 cents on the dollar. It's just mm -hmm. not out there. The market's, the market's too hot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. There's too many people willing to, to go the distance for foreclosure because... You the market's know. good. The house, the market's is, the value's good. Yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, well, good. So now, you know, okay, so as we approach November and praying that it's not into January, the biggest thing, just kind of watch what happens, where's the cards land, and be ready to adjust as fast as you can. Yep. Cool. All right. See you in the next one. See you.